David Richmond trained as a psychiatrist and now works in a mental health clinic in Oakland, California. He writes frequently about the drugs in pamphlets and as Dr. Caligari in a newspaper published by former mental patients. One of the major problems with the antipsychotics is that they interfere and disturb muscle function so that people who take antipsychotic drugs end up usually with stiff muscles, with muscles that are rigid, often with shaking or tremors of their muscles. Uh, they can also experience what's called dystonic reactions where all of a sudden their muscles go into spasm and that can also happen with the muscles of your eyes and all of a sudden you're looking up through the top of the ceiling and it's very painful and you can't control it. And there are also muscle reactions called dyskinesias where you get these weird wreathing movements and squirming movements that you can't control or you have an inability to sit still and you're constantly moving up and going down. And all this is drug-induced and it's often called schizophrenia or seen as a part of some person's mental illness when in fact the person is experiencing a drug reaction. And the number of times that I've seen people experiencing drug reactions that has been labeled as craziness is sad. Short of death, the most serious side effect of the drug is a condition called tardive dyskinesia. There is no known cure for it. Joseph Blunt is one of its victims. His ward psychiatrist at St. Elizabeth's Hospital in Washington, D.C. is Dr. E. Fuller Torre. Uh, Mr. Blount has virtually no signs of his original illness now. The signs that uh, the movements of his mouth are completely side effects of the drugs that he was on for 20 years. Uh, Mr. Blount is quite rational. He understands what's going on. Um, and if you're patient, he can carry on a very rational conversation with you. The movements that he makes with his mouth and with his tongue, he can't stop. They're involuntary movements. He can slow them down by concentrating on them, but as soon as he stops concentrating on them, uh, then they come back and, and are more. Mr. Blount also has some movements of his diaphragm. When the diaphragm contracts, then it causes him to make sounds out of his mouth. Uh, but that's all part of the same condition. If it, if it was not for the side effects of the drugs, uh, Mr. Blount would, uh, in all probability, be able to leave the hospital, at least to live in a foster home.